This is Twit. So, Mike, you yes. are... <laughs> Mike, you're a developer. Um, we were talking a little bit before the show, and I was like, God, I want, I want something that you can sink your teeth into because you know we are not developers. No, uh, and so sometimes things come on, you know, topics come up on the show, and we just have to trust what we read. You're in the weeds. You're, <laughs> you're yes. fighting the battle. You're the in the developer grass, battle. catching the Pokemon. And uh, and so we talked a little bit before the show uh, about, about something that you could kind of talk about or demystify or whatever. And you brought up Android Jetpack, which Jetpack, speaking of last year's I.O., was something that was announced then. We definitely talked about it in our interview with the Google executives. Mm -hmm. We they, we spent some time on Jetpack. Back. It's all coming back to me now. Um But you, you mentioned maybe de demystifying this a little bit. Yeah. What is Android Jetpack? Uh, Jetpack, exactly. And okay. will it make us blast off? Uh, so I don't know if it'll make you blast <laughs> off, but, and I actually Possibly. don't know if this, I hope this is useful for the audience. Sure. Um, but I know we will continue to hear about Jetpack. Basically, Jetpack is the equivalent of um, AppCompat. Um, so, and AppCompat was basically a additional library that developers would add to their Android apps that would allow us to backport a bunch of functionality. So when a app, when Android ships on a phone, it's not very frequently updated. So uh, Google doesn't have an opportunity to put all their new functionality, all their you know goodness out on those phones. So they created something called um, the Support Lab, which was designed to backport this functionality and then developers add that to their code. And then we can basically include all this uh, newer code in on older phones. Mm -hmm. Jetpack is just the next evolution of app combat. So... I actually don't really know why Google did it, but I can tell you a little <laughs> bit what the end result is. So the way that AppCompat was delivered... I think, I think right off the top they did it because Jetpack's a cooler name than AppCompat. Also, Jetpack <laughs> has a really awesome logo that is yes. very easy to draw. Um, almost as easy to draw as the you know bug droid guy. So uh -huh, uh -huh. there's a lot to be said for that logo, for sure. Um, so um, basically Jetpack is... App Compat that's been renamed to Jetpack. Okay. So, oh, I um, see. I don't like really... Emoji Compat. Maybe so. Yeah. Is it like the same idea? Because Emoji Compat was introduced. Sorry, I'm interrupting you. No, you're but, not. But I'm because I'm just thinking about it out loud. Uh, emoji Compat was introduced to help uh, the emojis all look alike on different versions of Android. So I'm assuming that the App Compat would be the same. But with app idea, features. but for for app. Things for app needs. Features. <laughs> um, so I can give you an example. So um, Jetpack is all the goodness okay. that Google has that they add on after the fact. And they've actually started pulling more of their functionality into uh, Jetpack in this third-party library or this external library and not put it as much in the OS itself because mm -hmm. it's so much easier to send this out. Um, and so they used to have all of the app compat libraries were released at a single time. So they're numbered... And this is kind of important in a second. So um, the way that we release software is we have major, minor, and release right. versions, you know, 27.1.1. Sure. And then the next version is 28 or whatever. Currently, AppCompat is 28, 28.0.0 or something. Um, and all of those libraries are released as a single package. So um, there's something called Work Manager, which mm -hmm. was just released today. And that allows us to do a bunch of backgrounding stuff. Um, and then the material design components right. um, and all this stuff that was all packaged together into AppCompat. So when they wanted to release a new version of AppCompat, they had to release 29.0.0 and they had to release everything together, hmm. um, which is super complicated to release software in that, you know, that kind of way with, you know, rolling up all these things. Mm -hmm. So Jetpack has actually been, um, the versioning number is 1.0.0. So... Uh, and they've also broken out all those packages from AppCompat, uh, so they're all released individually. So okay. no longer does material com design components need to be released when AppCompat is released. It's released independent. Well, that that follows the theme, especially from last year, where even you know even apps were being broken apart as far as updates were Sounds concerned. Like Google, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Google, uh, and I I feel like I remember them them mentioning that right, yeah. like that a large part of what Android Pie was was about was de kind of connecting a lot of these things, decentralizing and allowing things, maybe, yeah, yeah, making it so that individual pieces could happen, uh, could be updated or, or moved like around or whatever the case like may be instead of everything at once because that yeah. collective 
kind of approach is very can be very limiting, can be very you know can be a hindrance. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that's basically it. It's just a mm -hmm. re kind of uh, marketing of. App Compat. Um, I don't know if it means anything to a consumer, really. Well, yeah, because it sounds like users would just see what they would see. It's just the developers either had to work more or less to get it there, so, so that the users do see what thing they that see. You just said about yeah. developers working more or less. Yeah. So part of Jetpack is a new generation of Android development, right? Which I don't need to get too deep into, but they've released some things called architecture components and um, lifecycle observers, which is language that you don't really need to know. But the thing that you do need to know is that they're releasing a bunch of tools that make Android developers' lives so much easier. They handle a lot of really complicated things that we've had to handle like our whole lives, like <laughs> rotating the screen. Um, you know, when Android rotates the screen, mm -hmm. it's a whole bunch of work for developers to maintain state. So a lot of things like that are now handled for us automatically as part of Jetpack, mm. um, as part of these new components that they've released, which makes um, developers' lives so much better and will also make... Uh, you know, the app's so much better because when the screen rotates, they're going to maintain state or right. different things like that. So you know, weird oddities happening. Uh, and this, and you know, and what you're talking about simplifying like that falls in line also with the last couple of years, Kotlin has been, mm -hmm. has made its kind of tra you know, transition uh, has been anointed, officially anointed, let's say by Google. Uh, how does this interplay with Kotlin as far as that's quite concerned? a bit? So it's all part of the same. So Kotlin, uh, Kotlin isn't exclusive isn't exclusive on Android, but it's almost really like the next gen. Mm -hmm. And all these tools have really been designed to interop with Kotlin specifically and it take advantage of some of those new language constructs. So it uh, it's all kind of I mean, in the last two years, Android development has changed drastically and gotten much easier. That's awesome. Which is great because I've it's yeah. not been easy historically. Um, you you. As a as a longer term Android developer, you probably stand mm -hmm. to benefit from the fact that things were really difficult before and are now much easier, right? Right. <laughs> it's almost For like sure. that supercharges you as a developer versus someone coming in now and things are just easy. You know, it's right. almost like I had to walk uphill to you know well, ten that, blocks in like, the snow. But that's like starting in the beginning when HTML you had to like write everything out and now you have style sheets to right. like do the you know they, but because it, it just does the magic for you. It just makes it a little easier. Mm -hmm. And then as these things get better and better, they become more dynamic and then the applications that we have mm -hmm. are just better. They're just better for the user in the end when this stuff is nicely organized. Sure. It's KonMari method. <laughs> Sorry, I can relate everything to that. I'm just kidding. What is KonMari? It was, you know, the joy. Oh, the joy. The, anyway, okay, I didn't sorry. realize that I was keep, the name again, of it. Again, I keep getting that joke into That's the okay. Program. My family has started watching that show now. And um, oh, I'm, 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 good luck. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> looking into the future of our household, basically. You're about to be cleaning basically. when the sun yes. comes out. Anyway, yes. um, do, how, do you, like, how do you feel about, do you feel like this is making your life easier? I do, and I love it. So, okay. like, I don't have any, like, ownership of being, you know, Android's hard, and I'm, you know, good at it. Yeah, and you're hard. You, I don't <laughs> want that at all. My job is hard enough, so the mm -hmm. easier they can make it, the better. Yeah. Um, and the new tools really do save a lot, just help a lot. It's just the yeah. sophistication of software, right? I mean, yeah. Exactly. Right. It's just... All things are easier. And that's all found in Android Studio, right? It's, it's mm -hmm. all Android presented. Studio drives it all, which, yeah. so Android Studio is a purpose-built IDE just for Android, so the integration points are really right. good. Exactly. They have what's coming, and this isn't something I'm particularly interested in, but they have a visual design tool where you can, in iOS, you use storyboards to kind right. of drag mm -hmm. things and pull things together, and that's kind of the next generation of Android Studio. Very design-focused. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very design-focused, right, compared to... Well, even like the Apple method was design focused and now to have a way where you can kind of scratch pad your interface, I mean, that, that's cool. Now yeah. I, now I want to build apps. I don't even, even know how. Even you can build an you app should. flow. I know, even but I don't even know I what to like put out there. It would just be a. That's the hardest part is coming yeah. up with an idea. Yes, yeah. right. <laughs> it should just be an app of me. Like here's me just waving at you. <laughs> it's just gonna... Well, you could do that. I could. I should just program a. Animated... I don't know how many people would download it, but. Your family and at friends would. <laughs> at least I could get mom, at least 10 I mean, people. Yes. Your family and friends um, would download that app. <laughs>